Welcome to my Texas workshop. I'm Randy Lammers. I'm Aaron Keevan. This is Worth Knowing. I am so excited about today's show. We've got something really, really special to show our audience. How would you like to increase your manufacturing efficiencies, get more product off the assembly line at the end of the day, eliminate the complexity of joints, maybe take away lock washers, take away hex nuts, do bolted joints from one side of the assembly, we're going to introduce a revolutionary fastener today to all of industry. Yeah, it certainly is. We covered a little bit of stuff in our last season talking about thread rolling screws. So this is that evolution, that revolutionary product that we, we cut slightly introduced there. We did. So we're talking about eliminating those no starts. Yes. We're also talking about eliminating stripping of the threads. Oh yeah. Really awesome stuff, so. Absolutely. So we're very excited to introduce today our guest that we're gonna have on the show from Research Engineering Manufacturing Incorporated, also known as RIMIC. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us down here in the Texas workshop. I believe you traveled all the way from Rhode Island. Absolutely. Right. Well, thank you very much for that. Yeah, we're excited to be here, really. Tell us a little bit about yourselves. Sure, my name is Ed Hebert. I'm the VP of Innovation and Technology at Remink, and it's my job to handle product R&D, marketing, and some of the IT duties for the company. Important job. And I'm Don Fosman. I'm the Director of Engineering for Remick. Um, I'm in charge of new products, um, application engineering, and uh, training for our licensees and for end users, potential customers. Yeah. I don't know if you know that Don has about 40 years of experience in the company. So. Oh, you've been in the business as long as I have, Don. <laughs> you and I are going to talk later. You we betcha. got some things to talk about. <laughs> Outstanding. That's exciting stuff. Well, welcome to the shop. Thank you for being here. Let's get started. Absolutely. Sounds good. So Remick is a truly unique company, and you guys do so much great stuff. Can you tell us a little bit about that, Ed? We were founded in 1958 by Art Bancroft. And today, our company is owned and managed by Lori Bancroft Manley, who is Art's daughter. And throughout the entire span of Remick, the mission has been consistent. And that is that we want to produce and license innovative products that both maximize performance and minimize the in-place cost of assembly. So those are great things, but you're not a manufacturer. We have a network of about 70 licensees with over 100 manufacturing locations globally. We as the licensors select, monitor, and audit the quality of the products produced by our licensees globally. We call it Remick here, but I think uh, overseas yeah, it's good. a little bit different, right? Right, so, right. so Remick uh, Research Engineering Manufacturing Incorporated is the company that controls licensing in North America, so Canada, United States, and Mexico. Everything outside of North America is managed by our sister company, Conti Fasteners AG. They're headquartered out of Switzerland, and we work hand in hand with Conti uh, to ensure that wherever we are globally, quality is maintained. You know, we've been fortunate that for decades we have been uh, embraced by the global automotive manufacturing. Oh, that's right? awesome. It, you know, Randy's truck, yeah. for example, right? His, his truck has some Taptite fasteners in yeah, it. It's a 1972 blue. Big Blue, right? <laughs> and since then, since the 60s, uh, we have been a big part of automotive. We also have some strongholds in construction, uh, in electronics, and in other consumer goods. But a lot of industries I don't think know as much about thread rolling screws as automotive. Automotive sort of realized the benefits of that, and I think other industries could learn as well. And that's why we're here today, is hopefully that some of your viewers will be able to, to uh, get a little bit more information about Taptite Pro and what it can contribute over generic thread rolling screw. Yeah, and that's exactly why we're doing this sort of show today. Get that, get that word out there, because you guys have some fantastic products. We've learned a lot about Remick, Don. 
and very interesting, very unique company that you have there. Absolutely. You've got some really interesting designs that you've created, you've patented, but you have one in particular we're excited about. I think it's revolutionary for the industry called TapType Pro. Now, we did an episode on thread rolling screws and we found that there were some challenges and we want to see how you address those challenges with the TapType Pro. So you're unique to the design that you have here. So let's start with ergonomics. Ergonomics, we uh, were able to reduce the amount of thread forming torque, which makes it easier on the operator. Very good. We're able to reduce the amount of end load required to start the fastener so they don't have to push on the driver. Hard to make the fastener start to thread roll. That's, that's critical because that, that has to do with the operator fatigue. Yeah. Okay, and alignment. You have some unique things on alignment as well. Yep, the alignment helps with that also because when the, op, when the fastener goes into the hole, with this fastener, they can't go in at an angle. Okay. It only can go in straight. So on a moving assembly line then, then the alignment is direct, so we're not working with the sidewalls of the hole that creates extra torque, and so you don't need that downward pull. Absolutely, push. and if you look, if we have this unthreaded nut member in the faster, you can see even on our automated right. assembly line, right. it will stand up straight until it's ready to be driven. Oh, okay, yeah, so that's, that's gonna help a lot because we have a lot of moving assembly lines, a lot of off angle happening, and that will actually align itself. That's right, that's All right. right. Very good. We're gonna have resistance to vibrational loosening because it is a trilobular thread rolling fastener, okay. so it's gonna eliminate the need for lock washers, patches, those types of things. Right. So it can be a cost, net cost savings because of that. So in uh, episode three, we talked about that feature of the thread rolling screw, and we said that it meets the IFI 124, 125 and metric equipment standards. You were telling me though, this exceeds that. Oh, this absolutely exceeds the IFI standard. It's uh, used very commonly for seatbelt bolts because it eliminates the need for locking features on seatbelts. Critical belt bolts. application yeah. there and a lot of vibration. Yeah. So we talked about uh, in generic thread rolling screws, we have some issues with them getting started. Now, a lot of times that is the hole size being incorrect, but also sometimes the geometry of the screw is not right. You address that issue with this screw as well. Absolutely. With the special dual lobulation of our thread, we have a point that's very trilobular, and this creates lower thread forming torque, less friction and heat developed while we're, we're thread forming. All right. And then we transition into the body, which is almost round, but it's still trilobular. But because it's close to round, we have the same cross-sectional area as a standard bolt and nut. All right, let me, let me feel this. All right, because I'm used to doing this. And I teach customers all the time, by the way, whenever you look at a screw and you're not sure whether it's a standard machine screw or bolt or it's a, a thread rolling screw, do this. Pinch it between your fingers and rotate it. All right, I do this on this screw, and sure enough, just as you said, there's a very tri uh, trilobular shape to it. Also notice I can see the taper. It tapers down a little bit longer than I'm traditionally used to seeing. That's right. Then up here, you're right. I can just feel that trilobular shape. So as you said, more 360 degree engagement, greater for shear strength. Yes greater for pull-out resistance. That's right. And it does some really good stuff for us. It, it absolutely does. And traditional generic fasteners will have one out of round shape or trilobular shape that'll go the full length of the faster. It does. The problem with that is, is you have less strength in the nut member. So right. you tend to strip the faster. We've also eliminated the failure mode of fastener stripping or nut member stripping with this design. We have a very unique thread design that helps us eliminate in standard depths of engagement failure mode of stripping. That's a game changer, people. That changes the entire industry. So now we have a screw that can operate a symbol from one side and do what a bolt does. It can be an incredible cost savings to manufacturers when they don't have to have a nut and bolt assembly. So it doesn't strip out. Because we taught you in episode three, strip out your failure mode. And you're saying this one goes all the way to full tensile load creating full clamp load of a property class 8.8, 10.9, or in the int series, grade five and grade eight. Game changer. How did you do that design? What's the tricks? 
<laughs> we have a very unique thread design in this. Okay. Our inventor, he had his thinking cap on when he started this I one. bet he did. We had uh, some great products in the past, but this one, he really thought about how this thread could form. We wanted to keep the same surface area contact with this feature of the thread. All right. So that we kept the same prevailing torque and the other features that we had with other thread rolling fasteners. That's important to eliminate thread lockers and that type of thing. So we have the same prevailing torque, even though that's a more rounded body, we still have the same prevailing torque. Absolutely. In fact, improved a little bit. Improved. Okay. Yep. All right. Yep. We're getting better. Go yep. ahead. Yep. And because of this uh, unique thread, we have basically a 60 degree shaped thread, but we have a parabola that connects basically at the pitch line to the crest of the Parabola? Fasteners. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay. And what that does is it reduces the amount of material we're moving, which, right. which keeps the thread forming torque low, but it also allows for more of the nut member material to be between the threads. And mm. because of this, the nut member material, or nut member actually becomes stronger. So we're able to fail the fastener before we fail the nut member. Okay, that changes everything, Don but I'm gonna put you to the test. Okay, let's do it. Let's make sure where this thing works. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> okay, Don, let's do our demonstration here. But you know what? First, you have some specialty materials, CoreFlex. What's that all about? Talk to me about CoreFlex. That's right, we have uh, heat treatments for our products. Um, of course, case hardening is always an option, mm -hmm. but sometimes you don't wanna use case hardening. And so we have CoreFlex N, which mm -hmm. is a neutral hardening process, proprietary. Okay. And it's for aluminum, softer materials, so we don't have to worry about the drawbacks of case hardening, dissimilar materials, stress corrosion, those types of things. Yes, so that's, that's big because we get a lot of issues here with case hardened parts that want to micro crack and are going into aluminum, and we end up later on seeing stress corrosion cracking that shows itself, of course, as hydrogen embrittlement. So neutral hard going into aluminum. So that's the end, CoreFlex N. That's right, okay. that's right. And we also have CoreFlex I, which is an induction hardened fastener. So it's a okay. standard grade strength equivalent fastener. So if it's 8.8, 9.8, 10.9 grade strength equivalent mm -hmm. um, for the tap type fastener um, with an induction hardened tip. So the okay. working end is hardened. Okay, so then let me ask you this question. We have customers that are using thick metal and, you, and they're laser cutting those holes. So we get hardening around the laser cut hole. So that hardened induction hardened tip, is that gonna be some advantage here? I think it would be. We can even adjust that induction hardened tip to extra hardness. Okay. Um, which would be helpful for that. But we're gonna have to look at each application it's, and see how many how thick is the material? Right. How hard is it to start with and what's it gonna be after the, the okay. laser cut? Outstanding. All right, so the uh, fastener we're gonna demonstrate here today that uh, you brought the TapType Pro, what is that material? That is a CoreFlex I 10.9 uh, fastener. Okay, with the induction hardened uh, point on it. All right, and that's where it's doing the thread rolling work, right? That's right. Okay, then first, let me get my safety glasses. Those are safety lens? These are. All right, let me get safety glasses on here because we all want to always want to maintain safe. And then let me explain to you what our setup is today. So what we have here is I have put in the vise weld nuts. Now these are unthreaded weld nuts that we see used out there in industry. As a matter of fact, Don, you see these used in specific industries, right? Absolutely, absolutely. We see them all over uh, the industries we're in, uh, mm -hmm. unthreaded weld nuts. Um, we especially see quite a lot of this even in electrical vehicles. Ah. And, and because of electrical vehicles, right. we need to have some kind of grounding quite often. Okay. Um, so when you're going into one of these unthreaded nut members, even if it has a plating or a finish mm -hmm. for corrosion, it will it remove that as it goes in and it becomes a hand and glove fit metal to metal contact. Wow. So it's, it's a true ground every time. Wow, we have a lot of customers that are manufacturing electrical products and a lot going on in the market today on electric lawnmowers. So this would be outstanding for that. If they're doing it in electric vehicles, that. they can do it in electric lawnmowers and That's other right. electric equipment too. So that was a really good point to make. So let's go back to our setup here. What we have here is we have a standard generic thread rolling screw that's used in industry everywhere, very common part that's zinc plated and waxed. So we're gonna utilize that and we're gonna run that into this unthreaded weld nut and see how that performs. Then we will also then run the TapTap -tap Pro 
in the exact same assembly. That's right. So let's take a look at that. First of all, I want to take my 1980s uh, screw gun. You've seen on the show a couple of times already. And we'll just run this down to, uh, to seat the screw and then finish it off by hand. So let's get it down. And it helps if you put it in fast forward. Okay, just to seat the screw, take my wrench. I'm not really worried about torque on this uh, demonstration. So what we're going to do is let me just rotate this and see what happens. So again, we're kind of getting some easy rotation, not much going on here. And yeah, that has definitely stripped out. Now that's your typical uh, failure mode on thread rolling screws. Uh, and that's fine when you're tacking things together. But if you want this to be a bolted joint where you're creating clamp load in your assembly, what you want your failure mode to be, typically, is breakage of the fastener. So strip out won't, will not accomplish that. So what you're telling us today is that you have designed this Taptite Pro with the capability to do full tensile load, clamp load capability equivalent to a bolt, and your failure mode is gonna be breakage. That's correct. So you're saying this is gonna break and not strip out. This one's gonna break. All right. We're putting you to the test, Don. We're putting you to the test. Okay, the one you brought with you did have a different head size. Let me change my, uh, uh, my driver size out there. You're gonna do that one for yeah, me real quick, please. And all right, Don, I'm gonna run this down. We're gonna seat it and then we'll finish it off. Okay, and make sure we get the right one on socket on here too for that head size. All right, here's your test. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. I've not done this, guys. Let's see what happens. Okay, it feels pretty tight. All right, it feels real tight. Okay. A lot of red boots. Okay, all right, yep, we're good, we're tight. And we broke in tensile break, I guarantee you. That was tight, guys. So that is outstanding, Don. Right. Strip out normal, everyday mode of thread rolling screws, Tap Type Pro. That's right. Full tensile break, equivalent to 10.9, which is also for our American friends, equivalent to grade eight, and it broke. That's right, failure wow. mode of fastener fracture. That's what we're looking for. Okay, that, Don, is a game changer. That's right. In conclusion, that was fantastic. TapTap Pro thread design, able to create tensile stress equivalent to a bolt application. That's right, with a new parabolic thread, we're able to create a stronger nut member, which means we're not gonna strip that faster if we have a standard depth of engagement. Fantastic. That's amazing. Another added benefit, the major reduction in no-starts. Right, and that's the stabilizing thread, right? So stabilizing thread ensures proper alignment and minimizes the possibility of no-start. And materials. Yep, materials, we have uh, heat treatment options that address the problems with case hardening that you have in certain materials. So we can get into any material with the right heat treatment. Very good. And then grounding. I mean, we've seen some major manufacturers that are doing some great stuff with the, the tap type. Right, right. yeah. So, some of the leading automotive manufacturers uh, in the world have chosen tap type Pro as their grounding screw of choice. And you think about, by nature, it clears paint as it's forming its own threads. It ensures a hand and glove fit with the nut member. Continuity couldn't be better. So it's a great grounding screw. And globalized quality. Right. So Reminc, Research Engineering Manufacturing Incorporated, is a global licensor of product. So we are going to ensure global consistency and worldwide availability of our parts. When you're choosing a Taptite Pro, you are going to get the same part no matter where you are in the world. So we're so excited about the Taptite Pro thread design. You can increase your manufacturing efficiencies, increase productivity, more parts off the assembly line, and reduce your in-place cost. Revolutionary for our industry. Roll internal threads and assemble to full tensile strength with Taptite Pro. That's worth knowing. We'd like to thank our guests, Ed and Don, for coming from Remick today. 
you know, if you like the content what? you saw. What? What? Let me do this. If you like what you see, keep watching our episodes and click like, subscribe, and we'll see you the next time.